Hey y'all, it's Tara again with Vintage Gypsy. Thank you for coming back to see me again. I'm going to be doing a, another South Florida blue box today. The last one I got from them was pretty disappointing. Um, over half the box went into craft. A good portion of the box went to the granddaughter pile. So I'm hoping that today's box will be a little better. They did both come together. So maybe they put all the trash in one box and the good stuff in the other. If there's anything in the video, though, that you do happen to like, you can email me at VintageGypsySales at gmail.com. Include a timestamp, a description of the item, and a screenshot would be great if you could. Make sure you check me out on all my social media. You can find me here at eBay. I don't have my whatnot listed on this sheet yet, but I will get it there. It is in the description below, and if you use it to sign up, you'll get ten free dollars to spend. And let's get started. So I'm gonna get the box out. Like I said, they did send them both together in one big box. And I'm really hoping for a better um, showing in this box because, guys, I'm I'm getting to where these blue boxes are just not worth they're just not worth the money anymore. If I can at least find a couple of pieces that justify the money that I've spent, I'm totally okay with that. And I love doing the videos. And if I don't have the blue boxes, I can't do the blue box videos, but I've been trying to get some thread up boxes. They seem to be doing really well for people, but I can never um, seem to catch them on, you know, on there for sale. They're always sold out every time I check. Sometimes I have time to check several times a day. Sometimes I don't get to check, but once a day. But I can just never catch them. I, I've seen other YouTubers that seem to get them a lot. So I don't know if they have like an inside person that's letting them know when they hit or what the deal is with that. But I don't know. But hopefully this box will be better than the other one. Alright, so I got it open. Let's take first look. Um, I'm going to lift you guys up. So I'm seeing a bunch of stuff on cards. Um, a lot of colors. Just uh, different stuff. So I'm going to pull out a big pile. I've got a new light and it's kind of in the way. So I'm going to have to redo my setup. So that I have more room and I'm not having to move my stand around. So I do see this is a huge tangle. So I'm going to try to get as much out on the table as I can so that I don't have to keep grabbing handfuls. I'm hoping we did find a couple of cool earrings. This thing has a lot of smalls in it again, just like the other one did. So, not feeling real hopeful here. The other one had a lot of really small trash in the bottom. So, and I found a lot of stuff in it that was not jewelry, and I hate. When I find, I understand one or two little things, but when you're finding a bunch of pieces in in the same box that is not jewelry, then that's kind of discouraging. So that's a pretty good handful. That should get us for a while. Oh, and I meant to show you, this, did, this was in the last box, and I sat it to the side and forgot to show it. And... These are earrings, these are earrings, ring, ring, and a little necklace and pendant. It was $12.99, and then that looks like a, 
TJ Maxx, Ross or Marshall's clearance tag that has been pulled off. So there was this little set that I forgot to show. So I wanted to show you guys that in case you saw the last video and wondered why I didn't show it. I just kind of forgot. So I'm going to tilt you guys down just a hair. All right, so we've got these studs on a card. We are missing some, but we do have one one pair. So uh, we have a, I guess this is some kind of Fitbit or Fit type watch. Um, I'll have to check that out some more. So we have a really cool copper cuff made in India it says made in India right there that is really cool that's a pretty nice piece it needs a little cleaning I don't know if it's real no it's but the it, I think the front of it is real and then the inside is just toned it's actually brass not copper so I think this part is real brass and then the inside is not, but still pretty. All right, we've got a clamper that's in really bad condition, so that'll go in a craft lot. We've got this acrylic ring Ooh, that needs to be cleaned really bad. This is pretty. The stretch on it is really good. So it's got these cat's eye and AB rhinestones or rhinest AB beads. I really like that. That's pretty. All right, we have a toggle clasp, silver tone with acrylic beads, faux pearls, little silver separator beads, and then it has this acrylic rose at the bottom. That's kind of cute. I'm pretty sure it's just, yeah, silver tone. So that's really cute. It's in good condition. So we have a silver tone earring it looks like it was probably on the card so maybe the mate is in here on the card somewhere we have these chain and they are the kind that the chain hooks around the ear and clips at the back uh don't see a name on them but they're on the card okay so here is Let's see. We have Time and True, which I believe is a Walmart brand. And there's one of each earring. And I believe that is the mate to the silver. There's rose gold, silver, and gold tone. All right. We have a broken leaf. is a mess. All right, we've got a tangle already, guys. I'm sorry. All right, so this this is it's been repaired. So I don't see why someone would repair this. All right, this says Mexico silver and it has been repaired and it has come off. The repair has broken. I'm not sure what that stone is, but this is marked Mexico silver right there. So we'll check that. All right, we have a seed bead bracelet. It's a little bit dirty. Maybe I can clean it up. 
All right, we've got a little tassel earring. Well, if I can stop dropping it. All right, the tassel's pretty tangled, but that is cute because it has stars and... No, just stars. I thought it was stars and moons. And then it has the rhinestone. So maybe I can get that untangled. All right, we have this silver tone necklace. And I don't see a name on it. But it has an extender, lobster claw clasp. And then there are the two pendants that are on it. I don't think these both were originally on it. I think somebody added this one because it just doesn't match the rest. All right, we have a silver tone bangle. Yeah, like a wavy hammered pattern. We have a straight pin, so glad I didn't get stabbed with that. That's pretty. Rhinestones and AB crystals. I don't see a name. Hope I find that one. That's really pretty. We have a little metal heart earring. We have a button. We have a starfish earring. That's kind of cool. It shows on both sides. That would make a pretty pendant if I don't find the other one. So we have a magnetic. So this is magnetite. And I believe this is going to be a wrap bracelet. It's picking up everything, guys. Yeah, so this is a wrap bracelet or necklace. And again, I've picked everything up. It's very magnetic. So, all right, lots of stuff stuck to it. So, let's see. I'm going to wrap it around. These are really pretty, though. And it's like so... Or you can do a bracelet, I mean a necklace out of it. And it's in really good condition. It's got like little AB stones and the magnetite. So set that to the back where maybe it doesn't. Our last box was full of toe rings. So, all right, we've got this interesting earring. Pretty interesting. It's got a bunch of different textures and colors going on. Toe ring. I'm hoping we're not going to end up with a million toe rings again. Little earring. This is metal. All right. This is a metal clip. No name. All right, we did have this earring in the other box. I do remember this one. It's tangled up in itself. Okay. So we did have that one. Metal earring. Toe ring. And just a bunch of little studs. And if you remember, all of this was, that one's broken. All of this was stuck to the magnetite. So, we know none of it is real. There's a piece of a staple. Alright, so we have this little screw back earring. I don't see a name on it. Okay, we have a little bracelet. It is broken. It had a 
fold over clasp at one point. So that'll go in craft. Have a little fashion ring. And it's gold tone, but it's got some copper coming through. We have an adjustable ring, and I believe it has a name. No, that may just be where it's soldered, but it is vintage. So that one's pretty cool. We have a car brooch. It's kind of dingy looking to me, but I think that's just where they've put this glitter stuff on it. Oh, more cowboy hats. So that one's broken. I'll throw that one in the trash. Oh, this is nice. So this is glass. It's really pretty. I do okay with these. A lot of times these will come on ribbon, and I'll take them off the ribbon. I don't do so good with the ribbon, but a little stretch ring. And I think this is one of those that you can put those little snap things on. So that's pretty cool. We have a clip earring. Well, it's a pierced. And I think these were probably interchangeable. And I don't see a name on that, but so we have that. A little wood bead. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. Still a nice piece, though. Little horse pin. All right, we have some kind of little ring. We have a clip earring with no name, plastic. We have a little cross earring lever back. This is a very large bracelet. And it has rhinestones. Oh, a hair. And it looks like all the rhinestones are there. This is actually in really good condition. I'm looking to see if I see a name. I don't see a name, but this is in good condition. So, all these are fun. I hope we find the other one. Those are That's a little sunflower. That's pretty fun. Then we have a enameled post earring, little twisted beads, little rose gold tone. Okay, so this is damaged it was either an earring or a pendant but it's missing one of the discs and it's also missing missing the top so that will go in craft we have another tassel earring we have this little lever back earring with rhinestones silver tone um, we have a little plastic clip button style earring, no maker. So this is cute. This is a little earring. And I think that is dyed shell. We have a little fashion ring. A silver tone, a textured Okay, now why does it have two backs? Hmm. We have a barrette. 
it is messed up so we'll throw that away all right we have a little copper tone well it may be real copper uh pigment all right we have an, some some more of the broken whatever from the other box we have a little tie clip with some kind of stone and I don't see a name on this one plastic earring a kid's ring button <coughs> Excuse me. And the extender chain has come off of something. Little bead. Metal earring. I believe this one was in the other box. Bobby pin. Alright, so we've got a ooh, terrible stretch. Terrible stretch on that. And it's got little words around it. So I'll put this in a craft lot. Maybe somebody can restring that. Let's see if I can get this out. It looks like it may be tangled in everything. It actually looks like this may be two, two separate. No, it's all one. So this is really cool. So these are glass. These are dyed shell. So we've got a mixture of glass, acrylic, dyed shell, and seed beads. So that's pretty cool. I don't see a maker on it, but that's probably dyed halite. Some more dyed shells. That's acrylic. So this is a really pretty necklace. I like this. So that's fun. Oh, sorry for the bump, guys. All right, so we have a bangle um lucky you so that's lucky brand and i think it is supposed to look very antique it does look a little bit out of round so i'm not sure about that all right apartment nine from Coles, another cowboy hat. We had about 20 of those total in the last box. Got a little cross dangle. Got a little porcelain brooch, and I can't believe it, but it doesn't look like anything is broken. Oh wait, maybe we have a little, no? Thought we had a little chip right there. So that's pretty cute. Another toe ring. All right, we have a snowflake pin with this opalescent, um, like epoxy or something over it. Okay. Dang, this thing is really wrapped. Okay. I've got an earring. Those are plastic. So we have a damaged screw back. And it says Nemo. That's too bad. That's a decent vintage brand. 
Oh, this is really tangled, guys. If I can't get it out quickly, I may pause you guys and get it out. It looks like whatever this tomahawk brooch is, it's missing one of the pieces of stone, which is too bad because it's cool. It's got some thread tangled in there as well. All right, so this is a brooch, and I don't see a name on it, but it's got like a mother of pearl there, and it's missing on this side, so I'll probably just throw that into craft. Got this little earring. This is painted shell, and the paint is coming off, and then it's got some other little stuff on it so that's a pretty pendant I don't see a maker on it and I'm pretty sure all this is just yeah yeah just silver tone but it's still pretty um, we got another bangle this one's like a gold tone but I'm seeing copper coming through and it looks like it's missing a couple of the little hearts. So I'll throw that in craft. Oh, this is interesting. I believe this may be vintage plastic. Could be Bakelite or Thermoset Lucite. So I'll definitely have to test that. We have another cuff link. This one has a black, and I'm not seeing a name. We have a faux leather earring, stretch bracelet. It's not too bad, but all of this is plastic. It's very lightweight. Another toe ring. Again, the theme... Seems to be toe rings, a broken piece of something, a broken silver tone chain that can go in craft. So this is Da Vinci maybe. And it's braided leather. And it is a bracelet. So I'll have to look at that some more. So we have this little lever back earring. We have a broken piece of something. And that actually looks sterling, so I'll check that. All right, we have a little bracelet. Ooh, it's Monet, and it still has the tags. $24. Oh, and thank goodness it's not broken. Now let's check for rhinestones. All of the stones appear to be there. That is an amazing find. It's a fold over clasp, gold tone, beautiful, beautiful piece. Love that. That is gorgeous. My hands are already so dirty, guys. Definitely wash your hands after you go through these boxes. Mm, does this have rhinestones missing? No, but it does look like some of these may be starting to discolor from the glue. And I don't see a maker on this one. 
Nope. All right, we have a silver tone bangle. That one's in pretty good shape. Post earring. All right, we have a bracelet with a toggle clasp and I think somebody's added this charm. Definitely faux pearls. I think it's just silver tone. All right, we've got, this looks like a vintage little rhinestone bracelet. So yes, this is a rhinestone bracelet, vintage, fold over clasp. I don't see a maker on it. And it looks like, nope. Missing rhinestone right there. So that's too bad. That'll go over into craft. All right, we got a little, is that a Doctor Who? Police box, it says police box. BBC. I believe this is something to do with Doctor Who. I'll have to look that up. All right, we've got a gold tone post earring. Oh, these are cool. They need to be, all the little chains need to be straightened out, but isn't that pretty? earring or it would be a pretty pendant also uh, we got a gold tone hoop we have a hair tie we have a super big and funky wooden painted wood earring we have another little toe ring all right, we have, this was something broken, so that'll go into the trash. Here is the other half of that broken leaf pendant. We have a tassel earring. All right, we have another cuff. 10,000 Villages Chandni Ribbon Bracelet Crafted in India $34.99 It's really pretty actually and it's in really good condition so that's pretty cool we have, okay, here's one of those little um, snap things that I was talking about. And um, it looks like it was silver tone and the copper is starting to come through. And then it has this little panda snap thing on it. But that little ring, this... The little ring that we found earlier. We could maybe put the, the little snap on it. Yeah. Now we have a little panda stretch ring. Because this is in really bad condition. Like I don't like how the, the leather looks. It's not marked. I know there's a. A Ginger Snaps brand, but I don't know if they mark their stuff. 
I don't know what their marks look like. I'll have to check that out. But either way, it's in really bad condition. So we have like a, a chain mail earring. That's pretty cool. We have a little tassel clip. No name. We have a little gold tone like U-shaped hoop. We have a broken piece of something. We have a little wire fashion ring. Another little broken piece of something. A little rose. We have a this might be actual brass bangle. Don't see a name. Have an earring. It's like a glittery animal print. We had the match to this in the last box. Alright, we have a rose gold tone bangle. We have a clip. Don't see a maker on that. No. It's pretty. Have a gold tone earring. Another toe ring. Okay, this is um either a pendant or an earring that has come off of whatever it was on and this is made to look like it's made out of chain and then this is like a hammered gold tone little earring another toe ring again the theme of the box appears to be toe rings so this is vintage and I don't see oops a name on it and it's in pretty bad condition like the color of it and it just looks really dirty so I may try to clean that I have a screw back oh this is really pretty oh it's broken I may restring this because I have a 1970s party coming up and everybody's looking for stuff to wear. So if I don't restring this, these are all glass. If I don't restring this, these will end up in my glass lot, my glass bead lot because it is broken. That's too bad on that. All right, we have a little gold tone butterfly brooch it is bent a little bit right there oh and it looks like so it looks like it's missing this on this side so is that a name no so that's too bad because that's really pretty See, these are broken from this side. So, craft lot with you. We have a little silver tone fashion ring. I'm going to grab these beads up. Okay, we have a religious metal. Is that a Guadalupe? No, I don't know what that is. Let's say Italy, but it's definitely not, not sterling, no. I have a funky, that's some kind of seed or seashell. And then these are painted something, no maker on that. Okay, CHS, something high school. English 2001. Have a little earring. 
Got a little broken earring. All right, we have a silver tone clip. Have a little fashion ring. We have a choker. I think it's broken, so we'll put that in the trash. All right, we have a gold tone pendant. That would be really cool on some seed beads or a bead necklace. A gold tone hoop. Um, that little bead. Not seeing a lot of great stuff in here, guys. So these are knotted in between. They're glass, I believe. They may be amethyst, though. I don't have a gem tester. I really need to get one. I'm trying to get them out. They got, there we go. So this is one of those initial brooches that'll go in craft. So these are pretty. To me, they're just, I think they're glass because they just look so, so dark. So this is a cool, this is all acrylic. Well, that's wood. So you've got wood, acrylic, acrylic, wood, but look at that. That is gorgeous, and it's got pretty good stretch. So that's a good little piece. All right, you got some child's um, Claire's earring. There's a few matching pairs and a few missing. So we've got... Ooh. can't tell if that's bad stretch or if it's just not meant to stretch much. Oh, we've got some missing rhinestones. So, I only see one missing so far, but probably just put that in craft. Okay, I am not sure at all what this is. Whatever it is, it's broken. Let's see, there's our little maker's mark. And I think this is aluminum, guys. But there's your drop on that. But your chain is broke. Broken here. Which, that would be an easy fix. But some kind of artisan piece, maybe. I'll try to look that maker's mark up. That may be coral. So, I don't know. Strange piece. All right, so we have a charm bracelet. And so we've got definitely real pearls. It's got a toggle clasp. I don't see any name or markings, but we've got a hairbrush, a comb, a mirror, um, a blow dryer, scissors, a comb, another mirror, hairbrush, scissors, and then it kind of starts over. And I've got two daughter-in-laws. Yeah, definitely just silver tone, but it is a super cute bracelet. Um, I've got two daughter-in-laws that are hairdressers, so that would be cool for them. Got another, this used to be gold tone, but it's copper coming through in the back. Got a gold tone fashion ring. It's in good shape. 
So these are Hillcraft clip earrings. And that would be a really cool find if we could find the match. Alright, so we have this dangle earring. We have this little bow. Silver tone. Silver tone hoops. We've got little beads going everywhere again. Let's see if I see any more beads. Beads. So we have some more earrings on cards. They are gold tone. We've got little lightning bolts and little gold balls. We have a gold tone. I don't see a maker on it, but it's got these little So they have like a little blue. Oh, it's missing a stone. That's too bad because that's cute. They have like a little blue tint to them. So we have this. I believe this is a real druzy. if it's pulling the bale is definitely not pulling it's not pulling and I don't see a mark but I don't see any discoloration either so that may be sterling but look at that jersey that thing is huge that's a cool piece so we have a little silver tone ring with mother of pearl, but is definitely copper underneath and starting to wear. We have a little rhinestone bracelet. It's got a rhinestone missing, so that'll be for craft so somebody can harvest those stones. We've got another fashion ring pretty sure yeah definitely just silver tone on that so I have a leather earring gold tone gold tone earring wire broken piece of something all right we've got a paparazzi stretch ring i don't resell paparazzi so i've got a clip but it is missing the stone I've got a a b stone this is like a little sweater clip i don't see a name on it i mean a scarf clip all right, we've got a wooden stretch bracelet with terrible stretch. All right, we have a earring. I think those are just acrylic. It's hard to tell. That's pretty, though. We had this one in the last box, the little mustache. Have this little earring, this little earring. We have this out of something. We'll throw that in craft. We have this earring. Okay. We 
have a silver tone hoop. This earring. That's pretty. Don't blink. And whatever that is. Bead. There's another mustache. Bead, bead, bead. All that can go into craft. I'm such a lucky bride to have my best girls by my side. Will you be my maid of honor, the crafty, the craftista Etsy? And I believe this may be Sterling. Italy 925. And it is just a infinity symbol. And I think it's an anklet. Either a bracelet or an anklet. So. Oh, I'll put that back in later. Alright. We have a. I guess someone was turning 40. And they've attached that to this earring like that. All of that is trash. Okay, this says Amy Freedom Bracelet, Miranda DeBushi, Nickel Free Adjustable Bracelet fits most sizes. So, yes, magnetic on that. And then we have a little. Let's see. Don't see a name on this. Oh, it's got some damage too, unfortunately. So it's got some damage right there. There. Oh, and it's got something stuck in it right there. So that's too bad on that. All right, so that's all of that pile. Let's get us another pile out. This box has a lot of small guys. I mean, a lot. All of this stuff is smalls, and there are beads rolling everywhere. Maybe we'll find some goodies in here. In the smalls. Oh my gosh. Beads going everywhere. I'm still just digging out. I guess I'll save that last little bit for the end. All right, so we have a cuff link. Patent pending. All right, we have a pendant. That's really pretty. No name that I can see on that. Kind of has a Brighton look to it. wonder if there used to be a stone glued to the back of that. I'll keep that to the side and look for a stone. Let me get all of these beads up that are going everywhere. Yeah, so again, not feeling super great about this set of boxes. There we have a broken piece of it's some kind of shell. Maybe it was a pendant. I don't know. We have a little wooden 
Christmas bear. Made in China. Oh, wait. Is this the thing that came out of the back of that? Nope. But see, I think there was a stone in the back of it like that. But this definitely came out of something. It's acrylic. All right, this says, may God's presence guide you. That is beautiful. I guess this is just like a, um, a good luck thing to keep in your pocket, like a worry stone or something. That's plastic. This is a little tiny silver tone bangle. Plastic earring. This is a stretch bracelet and it busted as I was pulling it. So these little panels, I'll put them into craft because they're, they're really pretty. So we'll put those in craft. All right, this was a pendant or a earring at one time. Um, these just look like little, yeah, they're just little fashion earrings. This is a clip, faux pearl, no name. This is super cute. trying to come unraveled but that is super cute all right we have a brooch let's see what it says it says made in Italy and it does have some discoloration issues on the back but this is really old see that style of clasp it looks like everything is there as far as all of the little glass work in there. I'll have to look that up. That's a good looking piece. So this is a cuff link. We did have the match to that, but it's mangled. Um... So this is a piece of a Brighton, what was a keychain. Uh, we have a, again, either a pendant or a necklace. I mean, an ear, uh, earring. And we have beads going everywhere. So this is, um, that is real, real stone. And these are real stone. The stretch on it is pretty good. So that's a pretty nice bracelet. Okay, so this is a silver tone. And it's got these little charms. You got the blue rondelle rhinestones. And that's missing a rhinestone there just silver tone so I may try to find that rhinestone for that so we have this earring my battery's trying to go dead already so we have this clip earring no maker we have this clip earring no maker we have a Another cowboy hat. So this is really pretty. It looks like it was an earring. I need to look that up. So we have glass beads for my bead lot. We have a broken earring, a metal earring. We have another glass pendant. Here's the mate to that clip earring. We have a, sorry for the bump. We have a metal earring. So 
So this is a pendant and it's got some faux pearls missing. It's that um, like Etruscan, Etruscan, however you say that. It looks like it opens. Not really sure. I need to look at that some more. That's pretty cool. All right, so we've got a puzzle piece, a clip earring with no maker. We have a Rick and Morty pin. We have a broken piece of shell. We have a broken piece of some kind of stone or glass. We have a very strange clip earring. We have a broken piece of, this looks like, very bright and looking. All right, we have beads. We have this something broken here. Yeah, this these two boxes that I got this round are terrible, guys. If my battery goes dead, I'll try to charge back up and finish. So we've got this earring, and I'm pretty sure it's yeah, just silver tone. Uh, we have another scarf clip. We have a brooch that is in terrible condition. It kind of looks like a Weiss. Um, at first glance, I don't see a, a maker. We have a little piece of ribbon with a little heart charm tied on it. Broken clip, little silver tone hoop, trafari, a post trafari. Maybe we can find the mate to that. Okay, this is really nice. This is a cloisonne. Um, I believe this is some kind of scarf clip or something. Is that a name? No, just scratches. So that is really pretty. Cloisonne, beautiful piece there. Uh, plastic earring, a clip, acrylic earring. That's a pretty pendant. Enhancer. A vintage flag pin. Oh, whatever this is, it was nice. This little earring. This little broken piece of something. We have another pendant. Don't see a name in that. Guys, this is literally all very tiny stuff. So we have another Trafari. Another unbranded clip. Oh, this is gorgeous. That is beautiful. Trust in the Lord pin. China. Comcast cares. 
Guys, I think I'm going to pause you for a second and try to charge my phone up some because I really don't want to um, lose lose you on the video because I, I haven't quite figured out how to splice them together yet. So I do think that I'm going to pause you and charge up real quick. That is a cool, cool pin. Very cool pin. And another not jewelry. All right, I'm going to pause you guys and Paul and charge up a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I did go ahead and wash my hands because whew, they were terrible. Um, I dumped the rest of the box out. We've got a lot of little pieces left. Actually, it's all little bits and baubles. Um, I really can't justify the money that was spent on these two boxes so far. So unless there's some big chunk of gold hidden in this pile, then these were duds. So we have a little pen. It does have some damage. So I'll put that in the trash. We have a Christmas brooch. We have a clip. All the rhinestones are there. No maker on that. We have a plastic earring. Even the post is plastic. We have a little cabochon that has come off of something that can go in craft. We have a silver tone hoop. We have a silicone little ring. Probably be good for my granddaughter. We have a little bead and a bead cap that can go in a bead lot. We have a gold tone clip, no maker. We have two earrings that are attached together. They're like an antiqued bronze, and this is acrylic. We have more toe rings. We have another flag pin. We have another silver tone hoop. We have another little fashion ring with cat's eye. We have a really pretty clip earring. No maker. I hope we find the match to that, but not very hopeful at this point. Silver tone earring. We have a little clip earring. No maker. Have another button. We have a gunmetal earring. Have a little closing a bead that can go in my bead lot. We have a Christmas post earring. Post is bent. We have another cab that's fallen out of something. We have another button. Not sure what this was. Needs a little cleaning. It's pretty though. It's vintage for sure. We have another metal earring. We have a broken. I think it was a post earring, but it's the post is broken off right there. We have a little teddy bear pin. Uh, Avon. 
we have a thing for a nice bandage. We have another one of those. I guess that one's a giraffe, maybe. I think these are paper clips. I'm not really sure. Not jewelry, though. Um, plastic post. We have a gold tone brooch. It has a little bit of wear right there. I don't see a maker. We have a little gold tone ring. It does have a maker's mark. And it says Avon. So that's a little Avon ring. We have another toe ring. Probably had something dangle right there, maybe. I don't know. We have another mangled earring. That may be amethyst. It feels really cold. I'll have to look at that some more. We have another little earring. We have a clip earring. No maker. These are glass. I have an earring. Rhinestones. AB rhinestones. I have a, another glass dangle. Another toe ring, gold tone hoop. And guys, I will go back through this. I always go back through it, and you know, maybe I've missed something, and I pair up the earrings, and I'll check some of the stuff that needed to be checked. But I really feel like this was a bad investment on these. So, this is like paint with an epoxy over it. Maybe a pendant or an earring. Um, this is a little earring with a snake. A little seashell earring, but... It looked like it had some fading. My GSOM pin. This is a broken piece of something. Little earring. This is a clip earring. No name. That'd be nice, but I can already tell you the match is not here, so it doesn't look like I really have any matches. So here is a clip, a name. This is a little pin, rhinestones, like greens, like a lapel pin. Another little clip, no name, and that one has verdigris, so I'm going to set it to the side to get some of these beads up that I can see. Before they start going everywhere. A little seashell bead. Lots and lots of beads. So, put those in our craft lot. Alright, we've got a little Avon. Um, not sure what that's supposed to be. Maybe it's the back of a cat, actually. 
and there it's part of one of those earrings with the front and the back that go together that form one little animal clip with no name another little broken piece of something that is a glass bead though uh, Kansas City Chiefs Rock uh, this is a little dice that would make a cool pendant because I'm telling you I don't see the the mate here all right here's a clip I don't see a name missing something there a little pearl that's a little clip but it's in really bad condition all right more toe rings all right we've got a broken piece of it's not showing on camera, but it has a really light pink tint, so I feel like that was some kind of rose quartz thing. Have a metal earring. Earring. A little pumpkin earring with missing rhinestones. A broken piece of a clip earring. We have a elongated peace sign this is a little school bus and it mapco little earring and it says j crew but again I'm not seeing a match to that beads going everywhere guys all right so this is a clip I don't see a name but I don't have a match to that metal earring a B rhinestone and Rivoli earring Pretty sure this is just, yeah, silver tone little. Is that a. I don't know if that's supposed to be like an Indian headdress or what, but it's cute, but it's just silver tone. And right, we've got a toe ring. I love Jesus enamel pin. A broken something metal earring metal earring All right this is a little cross it could be stainless nope it's magnetic so not stainless this is a little acrylic i think that's supposed to look like a butterfly wing or maybe it is a butterfly wing so that might could be a cute pendant we have a little faux pearl dangle earring this is peeling really bad probably copper or brass underneath not sure what that is it's not jewelry though Right, we have a little crane, I think, post earring. Picker, something to do with bowling, maybe. We have a 
another lapel pin. Have a dangle earring. Have a clip. Uh, it's got something going on, but we don't have the match anyway. All right, we've got a little friend. So there's probably another piece to this that says best of a glass bead. Of a silver tone plastic earring, gold tone hoop, silver tone earring with really bad wear, post earring. This is a pendant, it looks vintage for sure. So I'll try to find a chain to put that on. Um, have a little post earring, lots of beads and cabochons that are broken off of stuff. Getting some of these beads out, guys. We have a, a thumbtack. That's a glass bead. Okay, we have a Denmark. Not sure what that is, but it has verdigris on it, so I'm gonna sit it away from the other stuff. So we have a clip. We may have had this one in the other box. I kind of remember this. Got a little maybe schoolhouse pendant. Little clip earring. No name. A silver tone hoop, a little earring, another flag pin, have a little pendant or earring. All right, we have an enamel earring. This is painted wood. Number one mom, but it has a lot of wear. And we're kind of down to a bunch of just really small. That's some kind of stone. This is Little Christmas earring, but it's missing rhinestones. Um, earring. That's a pretty little earring. None of these earrings have matches, though, so the ones that are really super cool will go in my silver earring lot, and the rest of them will go in a craft bag. Um... Have this clip earring, no maker. All the rhinestones appear to be there, but some of them are kind of going dark. So, have a little butterfly barrette. I think those are glass. I'm broken. Another toe ring, another button, a little cat earring, a 
This is a clip. No maker. We have a some kind of pin back that has a crown on it and it had something else hanging there so I don't know all of this is a little broken stuff beads and buttons and so I think I'm going to finish sorting through this stuff guys and call it a night if I find anything great I'll let you guys know but if not thanks for joining me and see you next time bye